Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. So let's quickly review what we expected for Thursday and how did the market behave, right? But before I start with that, one thing that I told during the live market is I have drawn this parallel channel again and instead of 22,280 as the resistance, uh, it's actually 22,320 being the lower end, right? Some approximate value I had put in the group. So why I changed this particular lower end is earlier I had considered this candle's low as the reference point. But then I realized that if you actually join this candle 1, 2, to observe the lows here 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 4 times this particular line acted as the support. And this candle acted as the resistance for this candle. It tried to hit that level and again took a rejection and came down and significantly went down. So since the number of touch points were more on this particular trend line, the lower end, so I took this as the reference point for the lower end of the parallel channel. So in this case, if you see, Nifty tried to make an entry into the parallel channel but could not sustain and again closed below, slightly below, like, like a few points below the lower end. That means it took a rejection while it tried to enter into the parallel channel. Right? In case if it had closed on a higher end, somewhere around 22,500, right? Then we could have expected targets around 22,900, right? That's what I mentioned in the previous video as well. But that did not happen. It has taken a rejection. Now, what is important for tomorrow is if it is going to close significantly within this parallel channel or is it going to close below this parallel channel that would help us to decide the trend in the upcoming days. Right now, for the moment, I will delete this parallel channel. Right now, we'll talk about Thursday very quickly. Right, it was the monthly expiry and last day of the calendar month as well right so what we mentioned and what i mentioned in the analysis is market can be double sided so market actually went up and again came down so there were moments on both the sides for that particular day second thing is i said wild moments cannot be ruled out because of the monthly expiry and the last calendar day same reason so we saw this particular fall was very scary right and also the third thing i mentioned was the gamma move after 3 pm so this candle actually it fell by around 155 points, right? So this was not something unexpected. It was very much expected, just that the direction was not known at the at that moment. But due to mean reversion, we could expect on the downside, or there is a strategy to play this gamma move as well, right? So using that strategy also, one could make money here. So more or less what we expected, kind of uh, like. It was in line with the expectations, not very surprising moment for the last day of the month. Now let's quickly start with the analysis from monthly charts. So on Nifty, if you see continuously, it has formed three insignificant candles, right? These are all dojis. Now why do we call dojis? Because the price has moved both the sides and we can see wicks on both the sides, right? So generally, uh, its market doesn't make more than three or four monthly dojis right so i am expecting april month could be trending now whether it will be bullish or bearish we will have to see day by day data and then figure out which direction it will move but unlike this month where it was very volatile i am kind of expecting april could be a trending month now one other analysis is from october 2023 if you observe it has continuously formed higher lows, right? It has never broken the low of the previous month. So the low here was 18,838. The low here is 18,974. Low here is 20,184. So continuously it has forming higher lows. So the first sign of weakness will be breaking of the low of the previous month. So for April, if the low of this month is broken, that will be the first reliable sign of weakness. Till then we can look for bullish trades right also one can say that now it is 22 326 and this low is 21710 quite far from the low in that case we will have to analyze the weekly data daily data and then uh, change our view accordingly but important thing is higher lows if it breaks then we can expect some significant fall on the downside coming on to bank nifty if you see this was a bearish candle, bears were strong here. This is a doji. That means it's 
indecisive and here this if it had formed a bullish candle then we could have expected a bullish momentum but what has actually happened here is although there is some bullish momentum if you see the wick on the upside is quite longer than the body here that means the prices went high but it came down because of the rejection of higher prices that means this is not very convincingly bullish right if it were to form and close somewhere around 48000 or 47500 then we could have said this is a three candle bullish pattern and market could go significantly higher as of now this is not very bullish sign it's like a uh, moderately bullish but not very convincingly bullish i would say right and on nifty three doses so a good chance of a uh, trending market on nifty now starting with the uh, weekly chart we'll quickly see what is the weekly chart for nifty so weekly chart it is kind of looking bullish on nifty and bank nifty is also kind of bullish only now for tomorrow monday we will start analyzing the daily charts and the 15 minutes charts right so both nifty and bank nifty has had a high sorry has had a rejection from higher prices so there is a long upper week that means even if nifty or bank nifty go up it will face resistances on the upside only after the high of this is broken which is very likely going to be a new all time high so till this high is broken we cannot be convincingly bullish we can take bullish trades but very cautiously right so that is from the daily chart analysis now coming on to the 15 minutes chart so we'll start with the data and we'll then look at the supports and resistances so index futures significant reduction of longs by retailers so it is actually bullish sign and fis have reduced their shorts so it is also indicating bullish sign but never forget the incremental data is bullish but the net data if you see retailers are still holding significant longs that means it can very well give a double sided momentum in the short term right now coming on to the index calls retailers have closed significant call shots so retailers are getting bullish that means we will take it as bearish fis have reduced call longs so bearish and pros have reduced call longs so that is also indicating bearishness so index call segment is bearish index put segment uh, retailers have reduced their put shots so retailers are getting bearish that means it is bullish sign FIS have reduced their put longs, so bullish. Pros have added put longs, so it is bearish. So two out of three indicators are indicating the bullishness. So from call side we see it is it is bearish, and from put side we see it is bullish. Right? It's opposite view. And index futures, as we see, the incremental data and the net data are opposite. So clearly the outcome of, from the data is it could be a double-sided momentum tomorrow. Now. We'll look at the significant levels for us. So 22, 420. So if you see, there is a consolidation here, and this is a nice Marubozu candle here. So this high will act as the resistance, which is 22, 420. Next on the upside, next uh, resistance will be 22, 516 to 22, 526. The 10 points will act as the resistance. And on downside, 22, 260 and 22, 185, 190 will act as the support. Right. So, what is the trade we will try to take? If it is hitting 20 to 420 or 20 to 518 and then forming a negative pattern, we we'll look for a bearish trade. Or if it is hitting support and then forming a bullish pattern, then we will take a bullish trade. So, we are open to a double sided momentum for tomorrow. And Bank Nifty 47 420 and next level is 47 820. That would act as the resistance. And support this 50 points, right? 46, 950 to 47,000. This 50 points range would act as the strong support. Below that will be 46, 676 will be the next support. So just to summarize from the data, it is giving a mixed view. So very likely we can expect a double-sided momentum. And the parallel range is very important. If Nifty closes convincingly within that parallel range, then we can look at the higher end around 28. 820 to 800, 900 kind of levels. If it is closing below that, that will be uh, another sign of weakness, right? Uh, if you found this content helpful, please do like, share, and comment on this video. Thank you all. Have a good day.